Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. This is Soho California Vintage and I am actually going to be doing a quick sell video for this Thursday. Um, I'm going to show you guys some pieces that are still available for sale, some new pieces, and yeah, just a mixture of both. So hopefully you find something you like. And if you're just here for the viewing of the pieces I have, then that's great as well. Um, don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you're new to the channel. Please subscribe. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. And it helps you enter in future giveaways. You have to be subscribed. So I hope everybody's doing good. The weather is really nice today. Kind of warm, breezy. And um, yeah, it's California for you right now. So this I featured recently and I couldn't think of the the darn name. This is actually, um, it's signed. It's signed really, really small right here in there. It's Dannon, the brand. And these are actually supposed to be pomegranates. And this is actually in a silver wash. It's not solid sterling. And it has the gold plated with the silver plated. And this one is 20. This one is 20. I don't think I featured these before in my video. These are um, JJ, yeah, JJ earrings. <laughs> so they're pigs, and they the bottom comes off. So I guess you, I don't know how do you how do you wear these? Oh, the back, the back goes like this. So the back of the earring. So you're wearing them? No, that doesn't look right. Okay, so actually they need a backing. That's what it is. But um, they're little piggies. And these earrings are $8. JJ Pig Earrings. I don't know exactly what this is. I got this so long ago and I actually don't have it listed. There is a maker's mark of such I don't know if this goes on with like a collar on a leash it's a beautiful um, dog it looks like possibly a Labrador and it says best friends it could also work as like an ornament but if anybody wants this this has some weight to it this is seven dollars seven dollars and this right here, oh my god, this vintage piece is fantastic. This feels like milk glass. It fits smaller. But look at how pretty these flowers are. The different, the different um, beaded pairs. She is, is she signed? It says royal inside. Royal. She's pretty. She might be um, able to be constructed into like a bracelet of some sort. But this one is um, 15. 15. Um, let's see here. This one. This one is a cloisonne. If I could get the clasp. Okay. I always have a hard time with these clasps. So this is a cloisonne. We have a luster over the pink stones. I don't know if this is a stone or a glass. It looks like a stone of some sort. Really, really pretty. We have these little frosted discs in between the cloisonne balls. Um, this one is 15. This one's 15. There, that's. I still have this juicy bracelet. Beautiful, comes in its box. This one's 20. It has no wear on it, guys. No wear at all. I'm about a, um, a 
tight seven so it fits me and a little bit extra it's signed right there she does have some weight so if you don't like wearing heavy bracelets duh, I wouldn't go down that route so these I actually bought a while back this is Kate Spade I'm not 100% sure. I think this is before she died when this came out. It is signed. It has the little bows. I have had this listed on my um, eBay store, but you know, wanted to come back and bring it out to you guys. So if you like this piece, um, hmm, I could do 20. I could do 20, um, I think I wanted like 25, 30 last time. I'm not making really much money on it. I think I bought her for like 15, 16 dollars. And then this one still has the original tag. And, um, yeah, this is a magnetic... Um, bangle really really pretty has no wear the little pink bow and I could do 20 on this one as well this oh wait no this I had last time nobody bought it though I was really surprised this so this is like a pendant we have the jersey quartz inside Oh, I don't know if you'd call it. No, don't leave my Kate Spade silver. And then it just has like a dip border of gold. I could do five on this. Okay, this one's really, really pretty. And we are bringing back these pieces. So I wasn't too sure last time if this was like a lapis. Somebody said in the comments, it looks like um, soda light. So it might, it probably is then. It's a beautiful pendant. Look at that. And it has some weight to it. I could do um, six on this one. And then here we have um, Swarovski pair of earrings. Red faceted crystals with the bracelet. And um, these are 15. It has the original card on it. These at one time were 25 Nordstrom. And I think, um, I remember I paid exactly 15 at Goodwill for these. So I'm not making any money on these. Okay, so let's dive into some newer pieces. Okay, if I could get this under control. Let's dive into some newer necklaces, maybe bracelets. No, 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 silver. My cats love the organza bags. And bronze likes that. The, um, like the cotton um, that the boxes come in, you know, to protect the jewelry. Okay, so here we have a really fun color, silver tone color, not quite RBG style, but just really, really fun and a kind of a statement, you know, like bold, here I am. So if anybody wants this one, this one's 12. Needs to be relaxed right there. I'll do this one for 12. Okay. Um, oh, I have, hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. I had to kind of structure things a little bit different. But first off, let me um, start by showing this. This is like um, Indian Bali. Very, very pretty. As you can see, we have the 
faux pearls, the green little uh, faceted squares, and they are stationed individually. I could see that. And they come with matching earrings. This is a very, very nice piece. And ah, oh, this one's so pretty. Look at the filigree work on that. So, I mean, somebody might just like the necklace and not be crazy about the earrings. But, I mean, it's a set. So, if anybody wants this one, this one is 16 And then I have this beautiful, I don't know the maker on this, maybe back, uh, I'm getting rusty on my maker name, some of them, when I don't see them all the time. Do you see the V? So, I don't think this is, it might be Vera, Vera Wang, it might be Vendome, no, Vendome is, hmm, I'm not too sure. I am not too sure. You guys know, you tell me in the comments, because you guys are on it. Look at how pretty this is. Oh, she's gorgeous. This one's 15. Very, very subtle work with the pearls, the rhinestones. Very faint, but speaks volumes. This is a gorgeous piece that you could wear during the day and still dress up and wear at night. This is really pretty. If it doesn't sell, I'm keeping it. Then we have these faux faceted acrylic um, blue stones they're not you know they're acrylic stones we have the dual strands up here oh hey now this is Talbot hey girl I see you this is Talbot this is fun nice denim jacket a pair of jeans um, a denim shirt, something white or light color or any blues. So if anybody wants this one, this one is, um, I'll do 12 on this. Okay. I'll do 12. Okay. Let's see here. Mm. This one has no maker's mark. It does remind me of um, J. Crew a smidge. I'm trying to get this in order. It fits as kind of like a choker style, but it does have an extender. And I mean, look at the the apex that stick out of these points. We have the champagne teardrops. We have these lemonade colored faceted acrylic stones it's a really really pretty piece I uh, this one will be 15 okay guys so hold on to your shoes hold on to your seats I gotta I ooh, what brand is what brand what brand is this um, wow. Would have never thought. Because this yells J. Crew all over it. Maybe some of you guys want to put on your sunglasses. Because this one's fire. This one is fire. Ooh, girl. This is actually Bobble Bar. I know, maybe this might be too much for somebody. Hey, I say if you love it, wear it. This is Bobble Bar. Look at the beautiful extender. Look at that. I like different extenders like that. Okay. This one's 20. This one's 20. She's in really good condition. She has faceted stones. She's all there. And you wear it loud and proud. Okay, so now I have... Where did I put my loop? Okay, I just had it. Hmm. Or did I grab the wrong? I think I grabbed the wrong 
think I grabbed the magnet and not the loop. I wanted to inspect these a little bit better. Yep, that's what I did. So, I wanted to see if I... I'm thinking that this is real jade. I'm not seeing any air bubbles, which would be an indicator of glass. Hmm. So, these two stretch pieces are gorgeous. We have the orange jade. If it's real, it's orange jade. Panels across. I'm still looking. Yeah, I'm looking where they drilled the holes, the holes on the side, and it's very consistent, the matrix and the pattern on the side. So, um, I'm pretty sure that this is jade, but you know, it could be glass. This has no air bubbles, it's a stretch. So we have green jade, white jade, orange jade. So if anybody wants the pair, I'm doing the pair together. These are both 25, 25, okay? Now I already have a similar piece like this. Um, you guys will probably be seeing it in my future under the C video. So this is a double, isn't this? Fun. Look at this, how fun this is. We have the enlarged abalone with the pearls. This is a very, very vintage clasp. I mean, it could have been made in the 70s, 80s. No, I'm thinking, no, not 70s. I mean, not 80s, most likely pre 70s and earlier. But isn't this one fun? Look at that. Gorgeous. So if anybody wants this one, um, this one's 16. 16. Okay, here's a modern piece. And all it is is um, a leaf. It's a, oh, I'm sorry, not a leaf, a feather. It's a feather. It has the ombre effect of the different blues. We have the AB rhinestones and the smashed caviar black metallic beads on the side. We have multi strands. No, with an extender, no maker's mark. So this, you know, this kind of reminds me a little bit of Lucky Brand, but who knows who made this. So if anybody likes this one, this one is 15. She's in very good condition. 15. Now this one is a fun piece right here. This is just like a pink square faceted acrylic necklace. On the back it's of a copper wash and she's in decent condition. She has an extender if anybody wants this one. This one is 12. 12. Okay. Okay, this gorgeous mama right here is, is this gold or rose gold? It's a very, very light gold, kind of, kind of like a rose gold, a little bit. It's a light, light gold wash. It has an extender. Look at how gorgeous this is. Oh my God. Oh, I'm trying to fix it because it's like not relaxed. Look at this. Look at the work on that. I know it's modern, but come on. Oh, she's gained. Okay. Look at that. We have the rhinestone circled the center stone. Oh my God. Come on. Beautiful. Trying to see if there's a maker's mark. I feel like, nope. 
This one, um, we will do 23. 23. And she's worth every penny. Okay, so in this set, it's a matching necklace with earrings. Look at how cool that is. That is very, very fun. It's kind of like, I don't want to say it's Native American style. No, not at all. But it has a little bit of tribal tribal energy on it. We got the matching earrings. Um, Livy, Livy, Levi. Okay. It's still packaged, you guys. It's still packaged. Really, really fun. This is 20. This one's 20. Um, I am actually bringing back a couple pieces that haven't sold. And I'm surprised they haven't sold. Um, I got this. Remember this long chain? It has an extender. What brand is this? Oh, this is Lane Bryant. Lane Bryant. So we have the long chain. We have... This looks to be of... Um, an Egyptian style. This looks like an iron of some sort, but it's probably not. And we have a face at the bottom. Very de It's detailed very, very nice. Look at the work on that one. And then the, at the at the apex of the of the necklace, we have a horse with a faux tiger's eye. I don't I don't know if it's real. It doesn't feel like it. And this one's very, very long. So like, it'll fit anybody. And I'll do 12 on this one. I think I wanted 15 originally, but I'll do 12 on that one. That one has a lot of weight. Remember, guys, under a pound, $5. Over a pound, it's going to be a few more dollars. Then I have this vintage style gold... It's just a gold, um, kind of a choker style. You can put a pendant, but I feel like it'll take away from it. I think the simplicity of the woven style is great. And if anybody wants this, um, there is wear on the clasp. But it's going to go to the back. Not Nobody's going to really see that. If anybody wants this one, this one is 12 okay here we go this one is really really fun too we have let me hook this up better have you guys ever itched your nose one time and then all of a sudden the rest of the day your nose is just itchy Ugh, I'm going through that right now so look at how fun this is Ooh, girl. We have the faceted, me blackened, metallic um, beads with the teardrop dangles. And it's a dual strand on the side, but so it doesn't get um, tangled. They unite it up here. This one is really pretty and fun. So if anybody wants this one, I can do 12. Um, I had this in my last video and nobody bought it. So this is on a long chain. It needs to relax. There we go. I don't believe there's a maker's mark on it. It is of a um, Buddha Indian Bali style. Here we have the face. Very cute. $10. Ten dollars. Okay, this I actually had in a pile, and I've been meaning to get this out. So this is Trafari. This is Trafari. This is probably more, um, more modern. There's a little bit of a ding right there. You can't really tell, you know, once it's on far away. It kind of looks like a belt buckle, right? But I appreciate the the sculpture and, and the design. Look at this necklace. They just look like barrel clasp lined up 
predominantly all along the side. Here is the Trafari um, little tag. And oh my god, I love this clasp. Talk about the epitome of a barrel clasp. This is it right here, guys. This is it. This is the back side to it. Here is the sign. So I'll give you guys a really good deal if you guys want this. This one is 15. I'll do 15. Beautiful. Beautiful. This I had in a previous video. Um, I got no bites. I'm going to drop it down to $5. It's just like a, a washed antique multi-strand necklace, but look at this. Look at the pop of those um, faceted AB pink stones. I mean, come on guys, $5? I think I was, I was asking 6 We could do 5 on that one. I think I'm going to make like 50 cents on that one. So, um, down to, I think, two or three pieces. Now, this one, hmm. I'm still thinking about that. I don't know if I'm, I think I'm going to keep that piece. Okay, here we have some Marvella still on its original card earrings. We have the du double um, faux pearls. Kind of reminds me a little bit of a snowman. The rondelle, which... Um, goes in between and we have the faceted faux diamond so if anybody wants this this one I can um, I could do for Marvella Marvella that's a vintage brand um, I could do 15 15 on the earrings and they have the original card I don't know if I showed this I don't think I did so this is the Kate Spade, another Kate Spade um, bangle. This possibly was is an older piece. It says Kate Spade in New York. And this one says an ace up your sleeve. Isn't that cool? An ace up your sleeve. Just want to make sure it's intact. So if anybody wants this, this one is 20. This one is 20. Kate Spade, an ace up your sleeve. Okay. Um. Hmm. Yeah, the other one I was going to throw up. I'm not. I think I need to do something. Uh, deep, deep reflecting because <laughs> I think I'm going to keep it. Uh, mm, bronze is going wild right now. Oh, let's see here. Okay, so hmm, this one has a maker's mark. I'll give you guys something to look at right there. This one has a maker's mark, and I didn't realize it till right now. Silver plate. Huh. This one just says silver plated. And let me see here. R1 L-I-N-D I don't know it's kind of hard a little bit to see look how beautiful this piece is um, it's silver plated so that means it's going to take a long time to wear out I mean I don't recommend taking a shower with it but is there another Okay, I got the clasp on. Look how beautiful this piece is. Look at how gorgeous that piece is. How to make sure that the lens is clean. Look at this.
simple yet bold. Look at the rhinestones on this. She's beautiful. She has marked on the back right here. It says silver plated and then it's L I N D. So I don't know what that is. Um, I always want to say Linman. And this one is 20. Very, very good condition. Okay. I still have Kenneth Kenneth Cole with the tiger's eye. This feels like butter. It is actually a dual strand. I'm trying to get the tangles out. Bronze, they were asking about you in the last video. You're gonna say hi? Huh? You gonna say hi? No? Oh, you're just gonna walk on by? You're just gonna walk on by, huh? Walk on by. Dun, dun, dun. Do you guys know who sings that song? Walk on by the old, old version. Dun, dun, dun. And if, yeah, if you guys know, I'll put it in the comments. I'll, I'll give you a clue. She was a female singer and she's still alive. She did music around the time Aretha Franklin produced main music as well. Okay, so. This is Kenneth Cole. I've always gave them their uh, their um, what am I trying to say here? I've always have praised the workmanship and their clasp. It's just great. So we have it's just it gets a little when it's relaxed it gets a little funky right here but it all okay that ain't helping me. Yeah, I gotta let it relax. I'll probably undo it. But this is a um, tiger's eye. It's beautiful. Oh, God. I love tiger's eye guy. And it feels just like butter. Look at that. So if anybody wants this one, this one is... Um, you know, I'll do... Uh, I'll do 12 on this one. This one just needs to be... I need to unhook it so it can relax. And if you don't like... If this is like a pain in the butt, this gold chain, you could snip it and it'll still be perfectly fine with the leather strap. Mm hmm. Yep. Okay, guys. So that's it for this video. Um, thanks for tuning in. Um, let me see here. Let me see. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's see. Um, you guys could click off. I'm just, I'm just like putting the jewelry out. And but I hope um, if anybody has any interest, let me know. Email me Soho California Vintage. And um, you guys all have a beautiful rest of your day wherever you're at in the world. I appreciate the support. Thank you. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up, comment down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Soho California Vintage signing off.